Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to be telling you guys um, a few of my little beauty secrets that I do and okay so first off I'm just telling you guys that I'm actually am in my bathroom right now and I feel really weird but um and I don't look orange either for everyone who thinks I'm an orange freak so my first beauty secret is Vaseline um, it has so many different uses and it's just you know if you buy a giant tub of Vaseline like you won't need chapstick for like a whole year um, also, another thing you can do with Vaseline is put um, like a teeny little bit uh, right on your finger and kind of go like this in your eyelashes before you put your mascara on or um, before you go to bed. And before you put your mascara on, it kind of just makes them, it separates the lashes and makes them more shinier. I mean, I've heard that it can help them grow if you use it overnight. I'm not really sure if that's true, but can't hurt um don't put a lot on because it'll just make your eyes feel really heavy and sticky um so yeah that's my first thing um it also can be used as a makeup remover but I have heard that it can give you wrinkles I'm not sure if that's true so you know you can use that at your own discretion okay my second tip is for mostly girls um it's about shaving so when you're in the shower, you should wait till the end of your shower to shave your legs or whatever else. Because what happens is the steam and the heat from the water um, opens up your pores and like softens the hair on your legs. So it will, you know, make your legs smoother overall afterwards. And um, always put lotion on after you shave your legs too because otherwise it'll be ashy and gross. Okay, so the next thing I think I talked about before, I'm not sure, but it's baby powder. And this is a great way to make sure that you don't have to wash your hair every day. And I think I mentioned this in my other videos, but you just take a little bit of baby powder and kind of massage it into your roots, rub it in there, make sure it's all rubbed in or else it'll look like you have gray hair. Um, and it basically what happens is baby powder soaks up moisture so it kind of soaks up the oils in your hair and makes it look less greasy so you can go out one more day without washing it. Okay, so the next thing is for your teeth and that is brush your teeth with baking soda every day um, after you brush them or before you brush them, whatever, so that... Um, it whitens them and it doesn't actually bleach your teeth uh, a lot of people think that but that's not true it actually just removes the stains and it's not like a miracle worker that it's going to make your teeth 10 shades whiter in like a week but it definitely does remove stains and improve your the color of your teeth and um they also have uh, toothpaste with baking soda in it the arm and hammer stuff does okay Next, all right, always completely remove your eyeliner. Um, I, when I was younger, I didn't do this, and I just kind of, like, got a little bit off, and I didn't really go, if you put it in your waterline, you need to get a Q-tip and go in there with it, because keeping your old eyeliner on, it eventually builds up in there, and, like, just stays there, and you can have, first off, you can get an eye infection, which is not good at all but also mostly it just makes you look kind of old and tired and like you're still asleep and hungover kind of so it's really important to always remove your uh, eye makeup and your like face makeup because I just recently have always just washed my face and not removed my makeup first so you don't realize that not every face wash is meant to be a makeup remover so you really need to use makeup remover first um, so I use these little towel thingies from CVS. Um, they're just like generic brand. It doesn't matter at all like what kind you get. You just take them and rub your whole face with them. And then for your eyes, just get um, a Q-tip and put a makeup remover on it. Okay, so this next one is probably um, every girl can relate to. Um, do not get your eyebrows waxed. And this... I have always got my eyebrows waxed since I was like 12 years old, but um, I just like figured out like recently, like maybe like a month or two ago that waxing and getting them uh, electrolyzed, eventually over time your skin right here will start to sag. 
Um, this doesn't mean that you have to live with like Bushman brows for the rest of your life. There's other ways to, you know, fix your eyebrows. Um, because waxing rips off a layer of skin while, you know, other methods don't. What I do is I get my eyebrows threaded, um, which I like it a lot better. It does hurt, but it's like a different kind of pain than waxing. Um, but it's not unbearable. It's not that bad. And, um, you can also tweeze in between. Um, but try not to get your eyebrows waxed. I mean, some people are like, oh yeah, whatever. I need them done. But over time, your right here skin will start to, like, eventually sag. And you'll just make you look a lot older than you really are. And not good. Okay, so my last tip would be, um, for everyone, even if you have acne or oily skin, um, it's really important to moisturize your face all the time, like, not all the time, but like once or twice a day. Um, you would think that, you know, if you had acne, like I'm still young, I still get pimples, like can't help it. Um, and you would think that, oh, don't moisturize. My skin's oily enough. I don't want to put any other moisture on it. But actually that's opposite because when your skin's dry, it creates its own oil, like, you know, the stuff that makes your face look greasy. And that isn't good. That's the stuff that's going to make you break out rather than if you put, you know, fresh moisturizer on your face and lotion of your, like, definitely face lotion. Don't use body lotion at all ever to put on your face. That's just completely horrible and will make you break out. Um, but it's really important to put face lotion on because, and you have to make sure you get your neck and behind your ears because any part of, like, basically your head that's dry, your body can kind of detect that and... It creates oil on your face to make you look greasier and ultimately break out. Okay, so a good lotion that I've been using for a few years um, is this Neutrogena um, Oil-Free Moisture. And I'm using the one for sensitive skin. That's what it says right there. Um, it just says on the back, one clog pores, hypoallergenic, um, fragrance-free, alcohol-free. And also my dermatologist told me to get moisturizers that are non comedogenic I don't really know what that means, but I know it just is good for your skin or something. I think it's something to do with acne. Um, and if you're a tan freak like myself, you might want to try this one. Jergens Natural Glow Healthy Complexion um, Face Moisturizer. And these, I've used them and they don't make me break out at all. They're really good face lotions. So that's all for now. And... Again, if anyone wants to leave me a request for anything, I know people ask me to do Snooki's hair and I kind of forgot, but I'll try and get to it. I don't know if anyone really wants it now that Halloween's over, but I'll uh, talk to you guys later.